Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of how to draw what you see. And this, um, uh, this session follows the, uh, the first one about perspective, which uh, the first session I talked about, I spoke to you about one vanishing point perspective. Today, so we, today we're going <coughs> to work um, on uh, two vanishing point perspective. So uh, basically, uh, the two vanishing point perspective is the most, uh, I would say, accurate perspective for architect designers, um, uh, creative designers, interior designers, industrial designers to represent the projects. And basically, what <coughs> um, uh, this this perspective is is quite um, uh, popular and the most uh, time used. Uh, by the in the commercial art. Uh, so um, how it works? <coughs> so as you know, we start always with the horizon line. So let's have horizon line. And of course, this horizon line, uh, we put one vanishing point here, for example, and another point vanishing point. Let's say I would put here. Okay. And now we're going to, of course, do the, all this um, uh, explanation of uh, different perspectives on a very simple form, which is the cube. <coughs> so in such case, there's two ways of drawing this kind of perspective. One is coming that you right away assume that you have a two-dimensional form. So you basically do two lines here and two lines here. And when you do the second, you be careful here. So you have the space which corresponds approximately to the rectangle, to the um, to the square surface. The easy way to do it is before you do these lines, would be easier to have established, you know, kind of vertical line. So uh, the the crossing the you know of, of those lines, the vertical line, it was crossed with those lines. You know, you're going to right away have a uh, deform established. Uh, much more um, clearly. So once we have here, of course, we can choose this. You see, this is the cube, the rectangle in perspective with two po vanishing points uh, perspective. So this sides uh, converge in this point and this sides converge in this point. <coughs> and you have to remember one thing. As you remember the first uh, perspective, the central one with one vanishing point, there was always all the verticals and horizontals, uh, always horizontals, verticals, always verticals. However, in two vanishing points, only verticals are always verticals. Horizontals are always, you know, converge either in one vanishing point or the other vanishing point. So let's uh, finish this. So as I said, verticals are always verticals, so there's no problem there, okay? And now, you see this space, doesn't matter which you take, approximately if you want to have a cube, uh, that means a square, you establish the point here and from this vanishing point you take a point here and you point, take point here. So basically you get this kind of form, the cubic form in this perspective uh, is approximately such. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> this is the one way to do, to do it, the cube in perspective. But how about if you have, you know, if you see the cube really directly like this in first. So you see only the square, nothing else. So let's say we have a square, okay? We have a square, okay? Only square. And um, if I want to do it now dimensional, you know, in, in, uh, with two vanishing points. So basically what I would have to do is go from this vanishing point, connect one corner here, from this connect the second corner, and from this connect the third corner. And from this vanishing point, I connect this corner, and I connect this corner, and I connect this corner here, here. And now look, do you see this and this? So this is going to be this H, the cube, in such case. This, this H here, now going to move inside. Or the other H, 
gonna move inside. It doesn't matter which one. Anyway, those points, those crossing lines indicate a vertical line h of one of the h of the cube. Now look these lines you see here, and you see here, and you see here, you have one side of the cube in this perspective. And from here where the other line is closing, look here, okay, and here, okay, this is another side. Okay, so let's say I have this here. And now the base is, you see, this aligns, this two parts align to this vanishing point. So you have already them here and the other align to this vanishing point. So basically you have the base. <coughs> so this is two different ways of doing. Of course, this is easier way, easier way because what basically you do, you have vanishing point. You just go, you know, the lines, first line, then the second line, and you have right away the base or the top, it's, it depends what you want to do, and you build vertical lines, and then you have the top, and you have this. Here, we, work out, we, work, we start with simple square, okay, and we transform the square into two uh, vanishing points perspective. So, as you see, we got this four. Okay, here and there and there. Now, <clears throat> the best is to keep whatever you draw, to keep between, in the middle of those uh, vanishing points. If the object is in the middle, it's the, the most appropriate perspective to present your product, you know. Um, and whenever you go closer to one vanishing point or the other vanishing point, look what's going to happen. If I, for example, put, you know, object in this kind, let's go again with the square here. So now look, what, in order to build this in three dimensions, I have to go to this corner, to this corner here, to this corner here, okay? And, and through the, this corner is actually the same, so you don't have to bother with it. What is happening? You see, this edge this is almost vertically on the same line as one of the vanishing points. So I don't see this side at all. I see only front, and I'm going to see only, only um, the top. But now what is happening to this, however, that look what is happening. You see this, and you see this, okay? And you see this, and you see this. Those two edges align here, okay, to the other vanishing point. And the top, actually, what I'm going to see, if I take this and go here, okay, to this point here, I connect this point with the one vanishing point, so I have this kind of form here, okay? So if I take this in black, you're going to see much more clearly. So basically, look, from this vanishing point I go, I connect this point, okay? From this vanishing point I go, and I connect this point, and the extension of it gives me if from this point out I, I take the van, uh, line uh, to, uh, from the vanishing point, I'm going to have the edge of the, of the form. From here I have this edge of the form and the other comes from here. And of course this edge comes from this and this comes from this. And this of course comes from this. So basically my form now, because I am very close, I am almost, one side is almost aligned to the vanishing point on the left. I don't see the other part. I just see the front and the top of this, the same uh, cube, okay? <coughs> of course, this, this situation will be reversed if you just draw it over here. So, this is very important to have uh, uh, the object if you want to show clearly everything in your product or in, in your, in your you know, um, uh, illustration, whatever, you have to have the object approximately in the middle between those two vanishing points. Otherwise, you're going to have the deformation quite significant. And the one thing to retain is also very important <coughs> in two vanishing point perspective, that <coughs> let's say you have horizontal line, you have two vanishing points, okay? And now, if you circumscribe, you know, circle here, the best depiction, the less deformation of the object gonna happen, when you divide this in five 
parts, the one fifth from here, one fifth from here, in this area, any object I place here, gonna come very nice perspective, you know, reasonable. Once I am getting too close to the edge of this circle, which is circumscribed between those two points, then my deformation of the object is going to come much more, um, it's going to be much more impo important and not really corresponding to the reality at all. So we can actually try to do one. Let's say I'm going to put, you see, let's put one square, you know, here. Look what's going to happen with the square, okay? So I connect the lines, of course, as usually I do, all the corners from here, and I'm going to connect all the corners, you know, from here and from there and from here, okay? <clears throat> and now, of course, my, my object is going to change because now I have sides here, I have the sides here, okay? We said vertical is vertical, so we have <clears throat> sorry, something like this, and here you're going to have something like this, okay? Look, the deformation. And now this is going to be here, and this is going to be here, and this is going to be here. And look, and this now, if I go, if I want to have the top, going to be here. So as you see, the deformation is even worse than here, okay? So it's not, going to, it's not the best way. In here, I'm going to have something like this, you know? Something like this, which normally I can't see it in such perspective, you know? Uh, <clears throat> and the object is very, very weird, you know? seeing this kind of perspective of the cube. So, further you go, it's going to be much more um, crazy. So, uh, be careful with it, don't exaggerate, stay rather in between those two vanishing points, okay? That is the, the most accurate way to uh, represent, you know, any, any object in a, a two vanishing point perspective. You know, so now, for example, if you want to see, um, so I'm just uh, trying to recapitulate, remember, you have to just always remember one thing. In vanishing point, uh, one vanishing point perspective you have, verticals and horizontals, always horizontals, always vertical. In two vanishing points, you have only verticals, always verticals, horizontals becoming, becoming um, uh, in converge, the horizontal line converge always either in one vanishing point or the other vanishing point. So in case if you, we would like to draw something, for example, uh, you have, uh, we have the horizon. I put my one vanishing point here, one vanishing point here. And let's say I would, uh, I would uh, draw the form approximately somewhere like this here. And it would have this kind of uh, um, lines, okay? This kind of form. If I would like to do it in two vanishing point perspective, what I have to do, of course, connect the edges, okay? all the corners I connect and from one side and I, con I do the same from the other side, okay? Connect them, connect them, connect them, and connect them. And basically what is happening now here, in this form, you know, if I have this conversions lines here, so right away from here I would have form going down like this. This of course is gonna go to this vanishing point Another side of this is going to go to this vanishing point. So I have one side already like this. The other side, this, will become this, this side. And it would go directly vertically down. And now this corner, look, it has to align. It's not can be like this. I have to align this, you know, um, to, the, to the vanishing point here. So basically going to have like this angle. Of course, here is going to be vertical, vertical, and here, of course, going to have this angle. So you see how this change in this kind of form, and of course, I go further. Okay, here is this, and um, now <clears throat> this is here, and this is here, and this base is here, and this base is here. So basically, if I go now with these vanishing points here, so basically, I have something like this happening with this with this form. I'm going to just retrace this in black so it will be much more, much better visible. <coughs> so basically what I got is from this form, as you can see here, from this form, okay, like this, what I got in two vanishing points, I got this form, like this, 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 
and and here you know you have this you see and like this and like this and like this so if I now make it much more exact so the shadows here I have here the other shadows I have under here there and my form have this kind of dynamics in this in this two vanishing point perspective it is a little too dynamic because one side is much more closer to this vanishing point if they would be perfectly in the middle I would have this form much uh, much nicer so um, let's just uh, briefly recapitulate yet the, in the you know this part where um, you have horizontal line you have one vanishing point another vanishing point you have the circle which you shouldn't go over with your form and whatever the form is going to be let's go maybe just you know one fifth of this space if you divide on five so approximately you stay in this area this is the most perfect perspective and of course look what is going to happen so everywhere here everything going to be perfect okay because look if, if i take for example um uh, square here so if i go through all these corners all these corners all these corners i'm going to have very nice you know cube you know not too much distorted nothing you know going to be this kind of cube okay so basically i go have something like this okay done is in the middle everything is nice everything aligns this side aligns this side aligns everything fine but if i going to put let's say the form over here okay over here for example i put the square here okay like this so of course i go from here there from there there from here I go here, from there I go here, from there I, I go here, okay? So what, 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 what's going to happen now is that I'm going to have this side is going to be here, the other side is going to be here, from there vertical is going to go until this point, and here, over here, and this size look i gonna i got something like this which is not normal and it's not recognizable even as a cube in perspective because i obtain this kind of you know form cubic uh, uh, sorry cubic form like this like this here okay i obtain this kind of cubic form which is very stretch as you see look how it looks and look how it looks this this is much more appropriate you know form of the cube in, in two uh, vanishing point perspective so as i mentioned this perspective is uh, the most commonly used by designers and architects and you should practice first all very simple forms and as uh, you feel better and more comfortable in this perspective you would um, you would um, uh, move to the much more elaborated um, forms like cars, buildings, whatever. And uh, this perspective is quite interesting to really draw in. So um, practice a lot uh, and remember in two vanishing point perspective you have only verticals vertical. The, all the others, uh, you know, the horizontals are always aligned to one or the other vanishing point. Thank you very much, practice a lot and see you soon next time.